And it says the American Indian Movement and other civil rights groups, a broad range of organizations, New Left, including Students for Democratic Society, the National Lawyers Guild, on and on and on, anyone against the Vietnam War, and even in uh, individual student demonstrations with no group affiliation. And then it talks about how, in the thousands of pages of documents, how they would do this is, and, and, and it's literally a textbook, and most of the people that are part of it don't even know. They're being led by a psychological warfare expert, and, and the Pentagon declassified a few years ago their 2004 manual for the third world. Anybody who's a leader, they say, they're making money. Because they don't ever want activists to ever get any capital to build anything real. Uh, you ought to be the leader. Or that person wants to take over what you're doing. Uh, or go protest them at their protest. Or split off. And then it says in here, they have them go in and call for violence to then run off the reasonable members. That's what Cass Sunstein calls for in a new document, a year and a half old, and he's now in the White House and set to be the next Supreme Court justice when Stevens leaves at the end of the year, is he said, we will go into their groups, we covered this a few weeks ago, and we will pose as conspiracy theorists, we will pose as anti-government, anti-fellow reserve, anti-global warming people, and uh, we will uh, uh, get everybody fighting with each other, and then we will accuse those that we're setting up of being the ones that did it. And so that's why this is so important, because then they force you to even talk about it. So you have to uh, educate people. And then that gets people more paranoid about going out, speaking out, being involved. Uh, going back to Mark Dice, Mark getting into Hal Turner. We called him out over a decade ago. You've been calling him out in the last three years. Everything he put out was a hoax. Go ahead. Hal Turner is a very fascinating case because, yes, he's he's called for violence against people. And now... He's been arrested for making these threats in June of uh, 2009. By the state. And the feds are defending him. Go ahead. Yeah, so his lawyer openly stated and admitted in court that he was an agent provocateur taught by the agency. Quote, this is a quote from his, his lawyer, Michael or Orzoko. His job was to basically publish information which would cause other parties to act in a manner which would lead to their arrest. Now, we, him urging violence is one thing. I mean, obviously... It wasn't to lead to their arrest. It was he was to urge people to commit violent acts to then demonize certain groups. But what's what's very interesting about Hal Turner is that in 2008 he published photos of what he claimed were the Amero coin. Now we all know that the Amero has been discussed by a lot of these high-level globalists and CFR people as the, the coming regional currency. So this is in the works, and usually what the CFR wants, the CFR gets. So this guy published photos saying that he got pictures and had an informant at the Denver Mint that sent him photos of this Amero coin. Then a few months later, October 2008, he publishes a YouTube video showing, in reality, it was a replica. You can buy a Amero replica coin. Yeah, there are thousands of companies that will make any coin you want, and it turned out that that group was in Colorado, and they just printed some up to show what was being announced. Yeah, so he goes on to say that he has a real Amero coin, and that, that he has an informant in the mint, and he shows it. And so, you know, people might think, oh, well, maybe he was he was mistaken. He, he can't have been mistaken because months earlier he posted the photos, which he just took from these replica coin sites. And so he had to have been getting dozens, hundreds of emails saying, no, that this is not correct photos from these replicas. Yeah, we put up an article saying, uh, look, here, it's a replica coin. Yeah, yeah. So he goes out, and his video climbed to the top hundreds of thousands of views. It was number one on Google Video's top 100 list when they were doing the, the top 100 videos on Google Video. So he goes out, the people spread the video around, look, the Amero's out. And then later on, people start to realize that it was a hoax. And so he's already admitted to be on the payroll for the feds as an agent provocateur to urge violence. And to Have you seen the new court records? That was the older ones. New ones came out with the U.S. attorney and FBI saying he was an agent. Yeah, yeah. But 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 what he does, this is this is really ingenious on, on his handler's part, is to create this stir. Everybody started emailing this video around in his article from his website where he claimed to have this, as if they're coming, we're sending the Ameros to China, they're not going to gonna drop the dollar. So everybody starts to say, oh, yep, look, it's coming true. And then it comes out, people start looking, oh, no, it was a hoax. Hal Turner's a fraud. It was a replica. So what that does is then people start to dismiss the idea when they're talking, people like us, people like Alex that are talking about, oh, there's Amero coming, there's global currency. Then the, the whole role of Hal Turner and his hoax is 
to then get people to think, oh, no, I heard about that. That, that was a hoax. You know, don't worry about that. And then to take it to the next level, a few months after his video showing his fake Amero coin, he then posted pictures of what he claimed to be the paper Amero currency. So he's just continuing to recycle this same hoax every few months to try to spread it around there to create this, this disinformation and muddy the water. And then in his blog, he posted that the, oh, the YouTube video was pulled, his YouTube account was pulled under uh, national security uh, because he was destabilizing the dollar. And so, I mean, the, the list of hoax and that this guy has perpetuated just goes on and on and on. And, and that's his job. Just, this is admitted by his lawyer. Uh, and so, thankfully, he's been arrested for making these, these claims of, of wanting to kill people. But it's absurd that his lawyer says, oh, well, he was just you know, posting threats to urge people to commit acts so they could be arrested. No, no he, was, he was committing, he was posting these things so that people would actually commit crimes because the FBI is not going to know what kind of psycho is going to read his blog post and the, the people's addresses that he would post on his website and go and, and harm these people. And the intention is not to uh, find these people before they do anything. The intention is to get them to do it. Well, you're absolutely right. In fact, uh there was a new hoax, UN gold hoax, muddies the waters of real move towards global currency. Uh, that was, what, a month and a half ago? Let me see the date on that article they just put on screen. Uh, they have more of those. I mean, there's whole constellations of groups who don't make mistakes. Everybody does that. But they knowingly, and, and we've also identified who's COINTELPRO. We've even looked into some of the corporate documents into some of the alternative little fake radio networks that are out there who their only job is attacking and, and, and lying about myself mainly because they know I'm one of the biggest bona fide real things, attacking Ron Paul, attacking myself, uh, making up things, and they always just put out wild disinfo. You know, Alex Jones is owned by the Saudi Arabians. Uh, Alex Jones is owned by the Brothmans. Uh, Alex Jones is owned by the Scientologists. Uh, and, and the same people will be saying I'm owned by all of it. I mean, obviously, that's not true, even if you believe I was by one of those groups. All of them, you know, the Jews, the Vatican, the Scientologists, the Saudis, the Keebler Elves, the, you know, ABC owns Genesis uh, because uh, of many satellites we've leased. Any radio owner will be laughing. You have to lease a satellite if you want to have a gardening show or anything else, you know, a, a feed of thousands on it. You know, it's like $5,000 a month. It's like it's like getting a roadrunner at your house. So they also take kernels of things. But, but it's important to expose this so other people spend their time and energy, other people listening or watching, they know they're good, so don't spend your time infighting with each other. Spend your time, you know, the mark of a provocateur is they always want to attack any real leaders. They always want to break up real groups. They always want to call for violence. They always want to spread this info. They don't want you to go out and be your own leader. They don't want you to go out and wake people up. They just want to, I mean, why do they have riot police at every event? And at every event they get caught in the news, the police attacking their own police in front of news cameras dressed up like anarchists until no one wants to go out and protest because you don't want to get rubber bulleted or, or, or hit with a sound cannon or a microwave gun. And they just do this over and over and over again until Americans don't want to go out and protest. Uh, they have effectively, uh, with, with free speech zones and the rest of it, killed most protesting and any protest I've ever had. Uh, you know, people show up to try to disrupt it and then they say, you are the disruptors. So that's how you can always tell the COINTELPRO and the useful idiots that they've got working for them, Mark. You know, I've launched a program to help to try to reach out to the mainstream audience and, uh, you know, some of Hannity's listeners, Glenn Beck's listeners. I mean, a lot of them are, are just well-to-do trying to find the truth and, and don't see these people for what they are. So I'm, I'm launching a program. Details are at markdice.com, where if you simply call in to one of these top five shows, they're listed on my site, which one? Sean Hannity, Glenn Beck, Michael Savage, Rush Limbaugh, and Mark Levin, just because he's friends with Sean Hannity, not that he's a popular host. If you just simply call into one of these hosts and mention one of my YouTube videos, mention the title of one of my books, basically just plug something that I'm doing, Email me uh, the, the day, the show that you call the hour, and then I will send you a free copy of the Illuminati Facts and Fiction for free. I pay the shipping and handling. It's a free book. And then I also, in, in the quick article, I explain how to get through to these shows. I mean, a lot of people know that I've kind of, 
I'm kind of known for compulsively calling into these shows and, and posting the audio on YouTube.